Well, okay guys, uh, hello everybody, I wish everyone had a happy uh, Christmas and a happy new year. Come on, shut up. Good. I'm doing this video here because this will be the very first time I'm taking my BMW E23 on a long trip. It's 375 miles to my parents' house, from my house in Arizona to their house in uh, Southern California. So I'm over there for the weekend. One of my cousins is getting married tomorrow. And also I'm going to spend New Year's Eve with them. So uh, please, uh, you know, check back. I'll be uh, taking clips of how the car behaves on the way over there. Like I said, I've never taken it on a long trip. And uh, I'll be giving you guys a review and see how it uh, how it does. Uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully I don't get stranded in the middle of the desert. That would really be a bad thing. Alright, uh, one of the things I've noticed uh, since I got on the highway here. You know, uh, after I put the new wheels... It threw off the speedometer a little bit. The car speedometer is really about 85, 88. And I have an app on my iPhone that's reading 92, 93. So, uh, really on the... Uh-oh, that's the police maybe? I don't know. Well, on the street, I really uh, don't uh, look at the speedometer. I usually just go with the flow of traffic. But since I'm on the freeway now, I'm looking at the speedometer and I just noticed that it's off with the bigger tires. You know, it's not reading very accurately. So I'm gonna have to calculate my fuel mileage according to the GPS distance, not what the speedometer is telling me. And I will let you know uh, on how the fuel economy is on this big inline six. And as you heard a little bit ago, my trusty Valentine one saves me from a lot of trouble. Decided to stop in Moreno Valley before I drive into uh, the heart of Los Angeles because once I get on surface streets it's going to be very difficult for me to uh, keep track of uh, the miles it's going to be way 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 more difficult because then I'm going to have to using my phone I would have to like enter very various uh, destinations trying to figure out the mileage but I was able to figure it out and I'm well am I surprised I thought there was gonna be a bigger difference due to the change in uh, tire size but the speedometer reads 301 miles traveled since my last fill up and according to the GPS on Google Maps I traced back from this gas station back home and then from home to the gas station and that was 305 miles so I'm surprised I, I really expected a bigger gap but uh, it wasn't that bad so I am very surprised uh, let's see let me show you guys the uh, 301 miles and uh, I'll show you the receipt that I just filled up uh, right here you could see 13.278 gallons so I divided 305 miles by 13.278 and that's what I got that's what I got 
22.9 miles to the gallon. I'm very surprised. I expected to uh, to get less than 20. I'm very surprised. I mean, you guys saw how I was driving. I showed you pretty much the speedometer. And uh, I tried going the speed limit for like 20 minutes, but speed limit's not for me. I usually try going between 15 and 20 miles over the speed limit just to get a little bit of an excitement and you know be on the lookout for the police they catch me they catch me pay my tickets you know I'm fine so uh, but yeah I'm very very surprised 22.9 miles to the gallon wow very very good gas mileage for a old old car so well thank you guys for watching uh, I'm gonna get back to driving dive into the heart of Los Angeles uh, if I get too much traffic I know my way around I'll get on the surface streets and that's why I said it's gonna be a lot more difficult for me to uh, track my miles because once I put my points of entry from here to home is gonna give me a different route and I'm not gonna be able to calculate it as good so uh, thanks a lot guys you know I just want to give you a little update on my E23 and I'm glad man it's behaving very very nice uh, some points I went fast I would say and I love the car it's very very good that one owner car guy from San Diego, Serial Marshmallows, Nathan Radislaw. He really knows how to pick his cars for the resale. And wow, I really got a gem. I really did. This car is in very good condition. I'm surprised. Except for, you know, so, some leaks from the engine. Other than that, the car, flawless. I love it. Well, thank you very much, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.